Okay, this is just going to be a quick video on setting up the Vive alternating air pressure mattress. Um, I've got it set up right now. I'm just going to kind of walk you through all the steps. Um, the very simple setup, just a few pretty simple procedures here. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is lay the pad out on the bed. Um, you'll see the air nozzle here. You generally want to put that toward the foot of the bed um, just to make it easier to reach the pump, to make the pump more convenient for someone to reach, uh, whether someone is in the bed or not. Um, right now I have it set all the way to firm. It's been inflating for a few minutes here. Um, generally at the firmest setting to go from empty to fully inflated and ready to start alternating takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, so what I've got here, I'll show you. There is this uninflating section of the mattress. What you'll do there is just tuck that underneath the mattress itself. That'll help keep everything in place, keep the mattress from shifting around. Um, once it's installed, it's really just a question of adjusting the air pressure to what is most comfortable for whoever is on the bed. Uh, the pump can be left on 24 seven, uh, can be turned off uh, if, if you need to, if you want to. Um, it is a low air loss system. So as long as the hose, the air hose is not disconnected from the side of the pump here or the nozzle there, then the air that is in the system will stay in the system. So if there's a power loss or anything, the bed is not going to deflate. The pad will not deflate. It will not vent the air. It just won't alternate until the power is restored. Um, right now you can actually see most of the cells are inflating right now. So it's actually in between cycles. What will happen is every few minutes, these chambers will alternate their pressure. So these cells and these are all interconnected. There's basically two interlocking sets of air chambers. So one will inflate, one will deflate, and then every few minutes, vice versa. Once it's set up, once it's fitted on the bed, it should fit any standard length width uh, hospital bed mattress. Um, you are really good to go. Like I said, all you'll need to do is adjust the pressure from soft to firm based purely on the user's comfort level, and you're all set to go.